Hello, I am Mrs. Anaya, and today we're going to be animating your character using the Piscal app. The first thing we'll do is we're going to sign in. You'll have a sign in button here, and I suggest sign clicking this link and signing in with Google. Then you're going to click Create Sprite and get started. Now we have the main working window on, in the middle. On the top left is your frame. And on the right is your preview window. Whatever you do in the main window will appear in both. The difference being this window we can duplicate the frames and this is our work we can work here and this one will just give us a preview of our animation. So here are tools. So we have the pen tool which is the one we're going to be using the most. You have different sizes that you can make your pen bigger or smaller depending on preference. I also like to make my pixels a little bit smaller. So if I start doing on the smallest size, it's still big and chunky. But if I start off by resizing my window, I'm going to make this 200 by 200. And I'm going to click resize. It becomes a lot thinner, so I prefer that. This is the vertical mirror. Whatever I draw on one side appears on the other side. So this is a little very handy if you're trying to make things symmetrical. My paint bucket tool. Before you start painting, I would suggest choosing your color. And then you can just click and fill it in. However, this area is not closed, it's big open. So if I tried to fill it in, my paint, paint would spill over to the sides. So I'm going to control Z, I'm going to undo that. Another way to undo mistakes is by using the eraser. So you can just click on your eraser and drag. If that's not happening fast enough, it's too tiny, we can make that eraser larger and we can cover a larger area. Another way to get your select your areas is by using the selection tool. So these are three selection tools and it's really preference. I'm going to select that square area and delete. Now this allows me to freehand so I can draw over the area and then click delete on my keyboard and it's gone. The third one selects by color. So if I click on it, it selects everything with that color and I can click delete. So it just deleted the center. So they all serve different purposes. So I'm going to click on black, everything with black selected, and I'm going to delete. I can also, I am going to just, since I'm going to start over, I'm going to click Create Sprite again, and that will give me a brand new window. So that's the easiest way if you're deleting everything. So let's get started on a character. So I'm just going to do a simple character. Let me get my pen tool, my circle tool, make sure my black is clicked on. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Oh, he is chunky. So let me control C, undo him, and I am going to make a thinner circle and we can get started. Okay. All right, so let's give him some eyes. And I'm going to give him a mouth. So I'm just going to draw that mouth out. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool. I'm going to add some color, maybe make him gray. There we go. And for his eyes, I'm going to give him some blue eyes. So I'm going to fill that in. Okay. So now I want to duplicate. So now I have him on two windows. So now I'm going to be drawing his legs. Okay. 
I'm going to fill that in. And it's hard to see, but it's flashing over here. So I know that something's happening. So now I'm going to duplicate again. And I am going to give him some arms. Or maybe I'll give him some wings or ears or something. I don't know what that is, but it's something. And you'll see that something's definitely happening over here. And let's give him a color that will really pop. Let's fill that in with color. Yeah, you can see it definitely happening here. So right now it is, let me make him a little bigger there. Now you can see him. Yeah, now we're cooking. All right, so let's pretend that I am done. This is the most fabulous thing I've ever created. I am now going to save it. I'm going to click on my disk. We're going to save it. We're going to give it him a name. So I'm going to call him Echo. And I am going to save it to my gallery. Then I'm going to export it. So I'll have that file. I'm going to make sure it's on GIF or GIF. And then I'm going to click download and that's going to download him to my computer. And that's it. Now it's your turn. Let's see what you create.